A good tip for Zoo, I would say, would be to get on the monorail. If you can get up there, you can walk around most of the level. It's a great advantage point. Hotel was inspired by the vistas in Hanna. We always thought, wow, it'd be really cool to turn it into a rooftop, swanky Cuban hotel. There's a lot of flank paths and interesting places to hide. You didn't get the drop on somebody. If you can control the elevators, you can control the upper floors, and those, of course, come with the sniper points, which gives you a great view of the pool area. Convoy's inspired by old school Americana related to fears of so. Invasion of the time. We have a United States convoy that was hit by a Soviet ambush. Snipers will enjoy this. Map, but running gunners will have no problem getting around the map really quickly. Throw a couple of grenades down there through the damaged floor in the bridge. Stockpile probably offers the most. across all the four maps. We wanted to present a suburban village in Russia, uh, but we also wanted to give it a Cold War theme by having a stockpile of armaments there. Operational garage doors protect the middle building, and the middle building is kind of the heart of the map. When people are paying attention to their team, they'll be able to coordinate when the doors are open and when they're closed. Get in there, get those doors shut, and then you can pretty much lock that building down. From the game's launch, the community was pretty vocal about their desire to have a wider range of engagement distances. So we've been very sensitive to that with the first strike. And now with escalation, there's plenty of sniper rifle positions. There's plenty of long range engagements as well as short range engagements. But with the map hex, you can just have a lot more fun with it. Get five all-new maps first on Xbox Live.